Hi guys, so if you want to see how to make that um, nail design in the picture you just saw, stay tuned. Okay, so what we're going to use today to accomplish that design, we're going to need two different kind of orange polishes. Whoops. The two different, three different kind of orange polishes. I'm using this one here. This is Milani. This is a striper polish. Also, um, this orange here, this is in Heat Wave by NYC, and then this Glow in the Dark Peppermints one. That's why I use these two oranges together, because this one is not as opaque, but if you put it on top of this orange, it'll be completely fine. Then you're going to need a black. This is Black Cream by Wet n Wild. Also some glitter. This is, Kaleido is it Kaleidoscope? No. Lucinate by Wet n Wild. Um, a yellow polish. This is an N this is a NYC polish in Taxi Cab. Hopefully, you guys can see all this stuff. Um, a glow in the dark purple. It's by Peppermint. A green, and I'm just using this beautiful green in Limelight. A white. If I didn't say it, this is a Montan. This is a Wild and Crazy, and it's called Montana. Um, you're going to need assortment of paint brushes, tools, dotting tools, whatever you guys want to use. Um, some nail stickers. I have these ones. These ones are the Milani, or not the Milani. These are the color showed nail tattoos. I'm going to be using this skull. And any kind of Halloween stickers you want to use. These are ones I've just had for years. I do believe they were Kiss Halloween stickers, but like I said, I've had them for years. So, um, I don't even know if you can get those anymore. And I think that's about it, guys. So you're also going to need a, ma a makeup sponge. Sorry, I forgot about that. So anyways, guys, let's go ahead and just get started. Okay, guys, so what I'm going to do first is tape off my white nails because we're going to be doing a gradient on them. So you want to tape them as close as you can to the cuticle but not on the nail polish itself. When I consider all the things I've done and looking back now. Next, I'm going to take my sponge here and take orange, or yeah, orange, yellow, and white, and we're going to do a candy corn gradient nail. You guys want a better in depth of how to do a gradient nail, just um, click the link down below. I have a video on how to do gradient nails. After I get this layer on, I'm going to go back and do a second layer, but this time with the orange, I'm going to use the glow in the dark, so the center is going to glow, hopefully, at night. glitter over it and also top it with top coat. Next nail we're going to be using the Maybelline Color Show Tattoos here. I'm using that skull. They're actually pretty neat. I really like them and I wish I got more but you just place them on your nail and as you can see you can see it on the other side as well too so you know where to place it. Put water on it for 10 seconds and peel it off and you have a tattoo on your nail. With no help from anyone, I guess it doesn't really help. I feel then I'm going to take the Happy Halloween sticker and place it underneath that skull and also top coat it. Okay, for the next nail, we're going to be doing a gradient with this glow in the dark purple and this green. When you're 
when you take your tape off and you find that um, some of the white is showing through, go ahead and take your paintbrush here, dip it into that polish, and just um, color in the edges as well as blend it down into the purple. And you'll never know that you missed it. Before I do any kind of artwork, I'm going to top coat it to blend in those two colors a little bit better. And then I am going to take my dotting tool with some black and draw a little cauldron on the nail. Next, I'm going to take a corner spider web sticker and put it in the corner, as well as a long spider coming off the web. Um, you can always trim these down too if they don't fit perfectly on your nail. Just use some little nail scissors or any kind of scissors you have. Right thing. Next, I'm going to take this orange polish here and draw some pumpkins on my black nail. I did put some glitter on the top there for like a starry night. And you might have to put a couple coats on the pumpkins because, you know, the black shows through. Also, I'm going to, after I get the second coats on, I'm going to take the glow-in-the-dark orange polish and go over that orange so that way they glow in the dark. Then I'm going to take the green and draw some little stems. You'll have to go over these a couple times as well. Then I'm going to take the orange striper here and draw some lines on the pumpkin. I curve them a little bit to give the effect that the pumpkin is round and not flat on my nail. So then what you're going to do is top coat all your nails, guys, and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this fun Halloween nail design. And uh, if you have any questions, let me know, and I will see you in my next video, guys. Bye!